So, I got the uh, next airplane on. Oh, forgot to take this off. So this is the uh, the lap sealant. Just toss that in there for now. And then um, this is the uh, oh, what do you call it stuff? Um, <laughs> your thing. Um, the this stuff. I went blank with that. Never used that before. Um, I'll think of it later. But so here's the fan. It's on. Oh, I feel the wind blowing out. So it's blowing outwards right now. So this is the crank. As I crank this, this can go down when I'm traveling or have it up. Either which one. So if you want to set it to 78, press and hold. Now it's going faster. Hear it. So I have this set up on my old Duracell 600 watt portable generator. I had to take the battery out because it was bad. I replaced it. These do not work. It's got a bad connection inside of it, but I just need it for this and USBs in the back. So I use my generator, my uh, main uh, solar generator to charge that up when it's like really sunny out and I have 100% and everything's good. And I'll charge it up and use that, but then if that dies, then I can just uh, hook that to the other one, the other generator. It's just got a long cord so I can fit it all the way up there if I want to. It'll reach all the way up to the, almost to the drivers. So I could even plug it in probably into the uh, vehicle cigarette lighter, which I have not tried yet, but yeah. So this is blown out and now you change it. It's gonna stop. Let me go the other direction. There you go. Now the wind's blowing down. So that'll stay on. And then once it hits 78 degrees, it'll turn off. So now the boys will have cooler weather. Well, of course, me too. Cool temperature, but it's mainly for the uh, boys because they get really hot in the summer. So I was just thinking about cutting all this off, all the metal out. So you see, it's kind of difficult to fit any kind of insulation back there. So that's probably what I'll do. Kind of like what I did with the doors right there. Cut both those doors, the door panels, the inner parts. Kept a little bit of lip on the bottom so that I can store stuff. So, so yeah. And then just, just unplugs and yeah, it's off. It's easy as that. So. I am happy with it. It's far back, this far back because of the roof rack. The roof rack's right there. And then, right there is a rib. So I couldn't go any further past that rib. And then I couldn't go in here because the roof rack goes like right there, which is less than 14 inches from there to that spot where the uh, rack is. You gotta stay underneath there. So this was the option to do, which I I like it. It's it's good, you know. It's a good spot. It is a little bit far back here, but it'll be fine. So yep, got more insulation on here that can go in, and then this is gonna be part of the uh, uh, system I'm building for the boys in the front seat, so that they can have a larger platform to sit on. And you can see the. I have the cardboard out, which I'm uh, creating a template for, for it. So, so that's what we got going on right now. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. It is so hot here in Arizona. I don't. It's probably still 100 degrees right now. I'm sweating just walking out here. It's about to take a shower from all this because I'm going to call it a night tonight. I got a pretty good headache right now, so. I'm just gonna relax, lay on the ground with the boys and watch a movie. So, alright, you guys have a good night. Talk to you guys later.